Why don't I get it cleaned up a little bit? Okay. All right, here we are in the heart of community, rock bottom, the dining hall. Did not take this footage with the intention of making this video, but it'll serve our purposes. We're talking about compost here, and that's just kind of a general term at East when used for any food scraps that humans are not consuming. So you can see these white buckets to the right there, right next to the dish pit. When you empty your plate or bowl at East Wind, whatever food scraps you have, you go into those buckets. And if there are pigs being raised at the time, most of the compost will go to the pigs as they'll eat just about anything. And then there'll be compost for chickens. And then finally, there's the compost for garden, which is anything that the animals won't eat. Right now, you're seeing way more buckets than usual. Sometimes there'll be um, stale bread that didn't get eaten or a cheese experiment that didn't work out so well and people didn't want to eat it, and that cheese will go to the animals or go to the garden. So right there, you just watch someone use the buckets. And when they get filled up, they're usually taken outside and put on the porch. And from there, they'll be taken to the garden and the pig people will take the ones for the pigs, etc. So now we're gonna go to the upper garden where the garden compost piles are and see JB check the compost. First step is to empty all the buckets and clean and wash them out, yeah. ideally. Well, not, like, that really isn't that bad. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alive. So what are, you, what are you looking for? I'm looking to see what the temperature is. Um, ideally you want the compost between 120 and 150, 60. Um, 110 to 160 is the, but once it gets to a certain point it gets a little bit too hot. And um, So I'm checking different points in the pile to see I mean, to get an accurate reading, you kind of have to look at different parts of the pile. Looks like it's generally around between 120 and 130 in that pile, and that's the active pile. So there's um, there's the active pile, which is the pile that's heated up, and the bacteria growth is the fastest. So that's right after uh, you empty out food compost and put that in, you mix in different car carbon and uh, manure, cow manure, as well as other uh, organic matter from the garden. Um, and then there's, then it cools down a little bit as the process goes on. Um, and so as it cools down, it becomes more of like a mycelium network, the mushrooms come in, it's similar to kind of how how like with soil, like turning the active pile a lot, which creates a bacteria bloom, similar to if you were to turn soil, it creates a bacteria bloom and eats up, breaks down a lot of uh, mycelia. The, yeah, it breaks down the yeah mycelium as well as other things, basically creating food for bacteria. And in the, at this stage, I kind of want you want it to be cooler and it to break down more of the um, finer particulates and so like worms are starting to get in there and um, other larger organisms beyond bacteria like and mycelium are spreading throughout it. This isn't quite ready but it's almost it's getting there and there's some um, you also want to watch the moisture see how wet it is make sure it's not too wet too dry because uh, all of these things like have a specific taste in what they like their environment to be. Cool. Thanks for doing compost, <laughs> JB. Yeah. <laughs> compost is a most valuable material for the gardeners. There are plenty of ways of making compost, lots of nuance. Everyone does it their own way. And there are plenty of books to read about it at Eastwind, as well as learning from others' experience, obviously. Another way the gardeners supplement the fertility of the garden beds is in the cold season collecting cow pies from the pastures in a dump truck and bringing them up to be tilled in with a tractor, as well as buying mushroom compost from a local farm by the trailer load.